Well, we have a um, auto water for the dogs. Mm. Ooh, it's a bit dirty. Must uh, clean it up. Anyway, is the water is coming from the main uh, from over there? I'll zoom in. Yep, from that tap over there. And what I want to do is to change this to uh, to take the water from the rainwater. Um, I'll need like, a tank to uh, hold the rainwater. Drill a hole at the bottom and fix this um, uh, fitting in there. Put some silicon around so that it doesn't leak. And around this uh, fitting as well. So I'll screw in. When the silicon is dry, it should hold tight and it shouldn't leak at all. Yep, there we go. And I'll need to put a nut in there in the back to hold it in place. So that's the one. Put it in the back and uh, the shifter to tighten it. And it's all done. An elbow, uh, uh, drill a hole onto this uh, down pipe, the drill pipe, and elbow in there. Connect it to the tank. So long as the tank's uh, opening top is higher than the uh, down pipe, it won't overflow. So this uh, dock water is now connected to this uh, rainwater tank. So instead of taking the water from the main, it's now taking water from the rainwater. <laughs> Let's go have a look. So this down pipe <coughs> comes down this way and into under the house along here and that's where I have taken the water from so whenever it rains this tank will uh, fill up first and when it's full it will not overfill and there will not be any overflow uh, that's because the uh, height of the uh, opening is quite high so this water is now filling up from the uh, rainwater tank And it's slowly filling up. That it is um, gravity feeding. Is gravity uh, is is less pressure than the uh, mains. That's why it's filling up very slowly. <laughs>